Okay, this is gonna be hard to do in one go, man. It's gonna be hard. It's a big patch note, chat. Okay, first of all, um, Aegis is still working with uh, Smallgate about the Twitch drops, but Twitch drops are coming back starting. It should be Wednesday. That's what they told me. Wednesday, it should be um, tiered rewards once again. So come over to twitch.tv forward slash deals ambitions, man. And I'll also be sharing some artists presets, customizations that I use. I can't really, if I find more, I'll put it on my discord, but I'll give the link to that on my Twitch as well. It'll be on my Discord. So, the Art of War release notes. Um, yeah. I was on the PTR. Did they post the video yet? Where's that, where's that, where's that video, dude? Oh, okay. They didn't post the video yet on Twitter. But, uh, I got featured in the uh, AGS artist video. So... Anyways, we'll talk about this stuff, okay? So the downtime is the same time for same hours, okay? All right? Oh, yeah, there's a YouTube link. Okay, I'm not going to click that, but you guys could go watch it. We worked on it pretty hard. Took us, took us many hours. I think I spent like 30, 40 hours on the PTR, the NAU PTR. <laughs> and we noticed a couple of quality of life things and stuff like that. So we'll talk about it here. Now that we can finally talk about it, now that we're not going to get sued anymore, because the patch notes are, oh, anyways, long intro over, okay? I hate long intros. Let's just get right into it. So basically, March is about uh, Turubik, the PvP. Turubik, as well as Artist and Quality of Life, Balance Change, and a perfect time for... A perfect time for, like, new players. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's a perfect time for, like, returnees and new players, and we'll discuss why, okay? So Spotlight, Artist, Skipping, Turubik. Skipping, okay, to be, you can check out the schedule here so that you don't miss it, all right? Summer is going to reign supreme, little phoenix is going to go, ah, they kill everybody now, one-shot people. Okay, artist, um, yeah, I, I enjoyers, Arcasia will never be the same, I already made a video about this with AGS, um, yeah, we're freaked now, we're freaked, guys, we're going to have little, little things running around, okay? All right. Now, I don't know if the artist emotes are going to make... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow, okay? Artist emotes. Arcasia Grand Prix is coming back, boys. All right. So, there's going to be an event with mats for honing and stuff like that. Chat, what do you guys think about the Naruni race? I like it. Even with latency, I thought it was enjoyable. Uh, I don't know. I don't see how it, it's... It could go any... I don't know. I don't think... Uh, yeah. I only have positive feelings. I don't have any negative ones. Okay. Next. Arc Pass Season 3. We're going to skip the Elgacia Arc Pass, the 2.5. We're going to go straight to Season 3. And because we don't have Elgacia, the continent, yet. Arc Pass Season 3 is the Dark Priest one. I will throw the link. I already made a video about this in the last one. And when this came out in Korea back in July... But these are the skins. You can watch the video. I'll throw the link in the video description. Back to the release of the patch notes. So, Arc Pass is coming out. Hyper Express is coming out. And that's the pet. Hmm, very cute. Um, different from the one that we got here in KR. But remember, guys. Don't expect things to be exactly copy pasta from KR. We have to go at our own pace. Our average eye level is different from KR. We'll talk about that soon. So, progression events. There's going to be Punica Power Pass for those that... For, uh, the finish, the Beaver's Friend. Okay? And this one is going to be 1340 gear. Now, a lot of people ask me, what the frick does that even mean? And uh, when I looked at my own Power Pass in Korea, because we got 1340 as well. So, let's go to the site instead of logging to another character. So I used, they gave us two, and I used it on uh, milk jugs. And I was surprised that she has the chosen gear. The chosen gear, which is um, uh, Abyss Dungeon. But, nevertheless, legendary gear. Legendary gear from the Power Pass. That was pretty cool. 
I think that's what the uh, I think that's what they're talking about here. Okay, so Hyper Express Plus engraving support from 1340 to 1445. Great for all players, new returnees. You know, took a little break. Artist enjoyers. Um, yeah, let me talk about the engraving support a little bit. I would love to go in detail, but uh, I don't think I can. So there is this artist. Uh, there's a engraving support page button here, and you can select whatever you want to use at any time during the Hyper Express. So ours is ending in April. So let's do this, unequip, and then I could equip that, and bam, you got the little gift icon, engraving support, and then whatever I choose is used. So let's say, uh, I don't want to use Raid Captain, I want to use uh, something else. Let's say I want to do a little bit of Chaos Dungeon, so I want to use this. Okay. 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 Frick? What the frick? Why is it not working right now? Anyways, that's how. I, okay. Okay, there it is. All right. Little little technical, little technical, <laughs> little technical issues. All right. Anyways, yeah, yeah. You gotta unlock it. Okay. You gotta unlock it, and then let's say um, you know you want to do some chaos dungeons, and you're like, man, mass. I'm not gonna back attack anyways. So do something like this, and you could change it at will, okay? Really good for artists, because you really generally only need like four engravings for most raids anyways, that you guys have access to. So you'll be really good with this system that'll help you to enter raids immediately. Yeah? The whole point of this March patch is to get new players, returnees, or existing players to create a character and enter raids almost instantly by having engravings. I'm sure they're going to give us the event gems as well. And we're going to talk about some honing buffs. All right. And there is Story Express. Story Express is basically, A, do the story of Lost Ark. Lore is important. Blah, blah, blah. So you go from level 1 to item level 1340 with the help from Story Express. As you finish each continent, you get rewards. And we'll know about the rewards when we log in tomorrow. Okay? Alright. So they'll give us like silver, battle items. But at the end, you'll get Crystalline Aura for 14 days. Epic uh, like engravings. And um, they're also going to give us legendary... Right here, right? Where is like Where's the gear? They said they'll give us the gear as well. Where is that thing? Argos gear? Uh, right here, Argos Legendary Gear. I don't know if it's Argos Legendary Gear or if it's going to be Abyss Dungeon Legendary Gear, but you're going to get a Legendary Gear, okay? Which is nice, because you could hone that up to, uh, you know, 1490. And also, you cannot skip the quest by using a Power Pass or Knowledge Transfer. Please don't do this. If you designate a character for a Store Express, you need to designate a character that didn't finish this quest in Rethemis. And then please don't think that, oh man, I did uh, Rethemis, I did Lutera, uh, I did Tortoik, I did uh, Annika, and I'm like, I'm tired, dude. I'm just going to boost. Nah, 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 nah. Don't. You got to go all the way. And you may be thinking, is it worth it? That is up to you. It's up to you. It's your time versus the rewards. Okay? For new players, yeah, highly recommend this because it gives you the support. It gives you the gear, and then after you hit 1340, use the Hyper Express, okay, and enjoy the Hyper Express bonuses. Hyper Express should also have um, better honing chance. I don't think they go into detail about that. Yeah, I wasn't able to test that on the PTR, so we'll have to see uh, mañana, tomorrow, on the actual live server. There should be a little bit of, like, honing advantage there. Uh, let's see... New player and returning player login bonuses. So for those that took a break, if you come back in, there will be another login bonus tab. That's great. Okay, get a bunch of stuff like engravings, honing mat chests, peons, uh, car packs, stuff like that. Okay, 
So the big stuff, the big meaty goodness, general and QOL updates, quality of life, honing and gold updates. Gold requirement for honing up to item level 1440, uh, 1445 have been removed. Not as same as Korea. Korea is up to 1460, but our I, our average item level of the active player base is different from Korea, so don't expect exact copy pasta. But this new player, uh, the new player friendly stuff is here. It's not enough. It's not enough. I know that, but I already made a video about this saying that this really helped out a lot of new players in Korea. It's not enough, but still, it's a move towards the right step. So you don't need gear. I mean, uh, you, you need gear, sorry. But you don't need gold anymore. So you could tap with silver and discounted shards and mats with increased odds up to 1445. All right, TLDR, honing got better for new players and alts going to 1445. All right, so item level, you guys can check this out. Honing success rate, 100%. Matt discount, 60%, like the shards, the silver, leaf sword, leaf stone discount, okay? Goodness, just goodness. Honing improvements, added a max button to easily add. So when you do the solars, you don't have to like drag your mouse anymore. When you do the solars, you just click a button called max. Bam, 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 okay? We recently got this in Korea as well. All right. Now, I don't know if they said this in the patch notes, but also there is a warning system. Uh, that I saw in the PTR that is in Korea now. So the game tells you, it gives you like a, don't be freaked out when you see this. Like for example, let's say you're honing your legendary gear, your legendary plus 19 weapon, plus 19 legendary weapon, plus 20 legendary weapon. The game says, hey, you sure you want to continue? Don't you want to make relic weapon? You'll get a warning system like that, okay? Because Later on, you'll realize, like, with Brohard and Akan, the warning system will pop up because keep continuing to hone that old gear becomes no longer really worth it. But for us, it's okay. But that toast, that window, that warning might come out. Just press OK and continue, okay? All right. It's just a new player, like, little helper, tipper up thing thing. Yeah. What did I just even say? I don't even know. But anyways... With less demand for gold to hone gear, gold rewards have been adjusted for lower level tier 3 content. Um, they, did this in, they did this way more severely in Korea. To combat uh, multi accounters and bots, as well as... Yeah, it's mostly the multi accounters. I've seen... Uh, I did a little investigation on RMT as well as uh, botting in Korea. And we've talked about this for like 6 hours on stream. It's pretty much like 10 times worse than NAU. It's worse than I ever imagined. As a matter of fact, I'd say 70% of people are selling their gold. But the thing is, I see a lot of people with multi-accounts doing like low raids and pumping gold. And it it really hurt the economy for the free-to-play because it inflated the market. And inflated blue crystal price, pay on price, accessory price, everything. But anyways, it's not as severe to nerf for those that are doing vaults and hard. It's uh... Yeah, it's 1,500 gold nerf. It's way more severe in Korea. You can escape this by just doing Vicus, Clown, and uh, Brawl Cheesy. So veteran players uh, will not be really affected much. It's uh, mostly targeted towards, uh, you know, those multi-accounters. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's, we'll see what effect it has on NA, EU. New player card sets, that's the... I saw this on the PTR. Oh yeah, by the way, you could turn this off. You could turn this off. You could turn it off. Uh, you could turn it off like that. And then, once you are a big boy and you're like, Oh, I got enough gold to buy engravings. Once you got that, then you just, you know, do it like this. And do it like that. As for your accessories, accessories will not give engravings like this. When you use the helper, okay? When you use the helper, the engravings coming from your accessories don't matter. Your rock don't matter. I mean, the HP matters and the combat stats matter. So let's say you're going for artists, right? 
So for artists, you'll go like, you know, heavy armor, you go expert, awakening, and full bloom. And then you go like, you know, full swiftness. Just pick up any stupid swiftness accessories so that you can go into raids on the fly. All right. So just get like swiftness, 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 expert. Uh, sorry, not expert. Uh, what is that? Specialization, swiftness. And then you'll have the swiftness specialization here. And then you'll be able to go into raids. So your engravings from here don't apply to the helper. Okay. When you turn it off, then it matters. All right. So you can't really cheat the system is what I'm trying to say. The new cards. Yeah, yeah. Negative engravings. I just told you guys, the none of that stuff matters. Only thing here. Negative engraving enjoyers. All right. So the new cards, which I saw on the PTR was this. This thing that came to KR as well. So it's good for new players. You don't need multiple copies. You just get it. All right. Max uh, HP increase by 4%. And extra damage by 3%. And then when I fall below 30% HP, my max HP increases by 20%. I mean, sorry, you get a shield. Okay. You get a shield for 20% of your max HP. And then it has an internal cooldown of 30 seconds. All right. Better than nothing. Da, 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 da. And then there are two sets as well. Deep Dive, Car Set. You have a Plan, Car Set. And these ones, you can get multiple copies. And it's like, kind of like on par with Lada Salvation 18. I don't remember, but it was like kind of close to Lada Salvation 18. Where was that? Uh, I can't find that yet, but just come to my Twitch channel, I guess, if you have any questions about that. But there are two other sets as well. Card improvements. Okay, so card improvement is like this. We have this feature in the library. You can search, like, uh, let's say you want to increase demon damage. So you can see which ones you have maxed, maxed, maxed. Oh, I got to work on this. What am I missing? Oh, I'm, more, I'm missing that card. Where does that card come from? You right-click it. You look for, like, information. And then... You know, or you can mouse over it, tells you which packs, or is it from rapport? Okay, so that's coming in. Also, you could set them as favorite, you could make them, you could make it so you auto learn the cards as well. So you have to like click on your bags, you could auto learn the cards. Okay, so yeah, the card feature is awesome. So basically, you guys got the latest and the greatest from the card quality of life for the uh, the cards. Yeah, uh, chaos gate update. So to prevent bots and AFKers, Arcturus's touch, Arcturus's touch. I got a lot of questions about this. Players can now earn extra gold uh, rewards twice. Uh, the Legion raid materials used in gear crafting up to five times per character, not new characters, existing characters as well. So. When you go to Legion Commander Rates, you'll see an Arcturus bonus here. Okay? You'll see uh, how many times you can get this bonus. For my uh, Slayer, I think I've used them all up. So basically, what happens is that if you got like, let's just say, for example, like three, three of these, you'll get six. You get double. Okay? Yeah. So you just get more. You just get double. Okay? You guys understand, chat? You're seeing ads? Welcome to Twitch.tv. Alright, so that's what Arcturus Touch means. Basically, you get double of um, Vaulton and Vicus mats. Up to five times per character. It doesn't matter if you've already done Vaulton 50 million times. As soon as this patch goes live, all your characters that you have already created and the future, future uh, characters you create will have this. Right? It doesn't matter if you've done it already 5 million times. 
when the patch goes live once again all your existing characters will get this and all future creator characters will get this this is great for uh new characters because they can gear up their relic sets faster okay yeah so it'll be really nice I think with this change, you could get full relic. With it, was it one or two weeks? I don't remember. It's been a while. It's all gates, guys. All gates. All gates. It literally says it right there. It's all gates. Two weeks. I don't remember. My slayer. I don't know. How, my slayer went so fast. I don't remember. Gear trading changes. So. Chosen Preordain, which is the Abyss Dungeon Legendary Gear, and the Argusi Gear, right? All of that stuff can now be sold on the auction house like Korea. Okay, they can be sold. Now, I don't know if they're, if they're going to cost payons like they do in Korea. A little bit of payons. But you can sell them now. You can craft and sell them if you want to, depending on how much they sell for, right? Because you could still use the blood for Leap Stones. Prokeon, protection changes. This is for all the, you know, the baby Mokokos. Prokeon's compass. Uh, this is like the, the ghost ship and stuff like that. Okay. Item exchange updates. Yeah, here. The Leapstone conversions. Like I said, for the Argusi stuff. Abyss dungeons. Mm, do they talk about this? Did they talk about this? Maybe I missed it in the past notes. This is the second time going through it, but... As you guys can see, I don't have any Legion Raid mats in my bags. Thanks for all the primes, guys. Because it, it's moved into here. Oh, it's in there? Okay, yeah. So don't, like, log in and be like, oh, Where did my shit go? No, no, no. It'll be okay. It'll be all in here now. Okay? But then... If you have the Otago's blood here, I used to, and I'm like, well, it's just stuck here. What do I do? It's just stuck. What I did was, uh, like, like it says in the patch notes, you go to a vendor to convert it. I didn't know about this until like three weeks ago. So I had the Otago see blood in my character's bags. <laughs> I thought it was like, you can, you cannot use it anymore. You can't use it anymore, but yeah, you can convert it. There's an NPC for that in, uh, Vernon, uh, near, near village. Okay. Stronghold updates. Da, da, da. And uh, let's see. Skin effect bonus. Oh, we're getting the trails. Move effect. So you could turn it off for your allies if you don't want to see their trails. Yeah, so the trails look like this. I haven't learned mine yet. They're also changing this in Korea, guys. So right now, um, trails are like, I think subclass bound but they're thinking about changing it to class bound that's what they said the change doesn't come through yet that's why i haven't learned them but it's in your evader tab right here evader tab so when you space bar or run around you have the mokoko trails okay now does that mean we get free tra uh trail effects as well do we get a free one maybe we do maybe we don't did they say anything about free ones, chat? No way. They gave us free ones in Korea. Because the, the developer said, we don't want to release something new without giving it to you for free first. Maybe Twitch drop? Yeah, I asked them about the Twitch drop information. They're getting back to me about that. The, the, the schedule I know, but I don't know what's going to drop. I know it's tiered. Schedule updates. Co-op added a fever time. Okay, st schedule updates. General updates, uh, loot auctions after clearing re uh, raids. I guess there's like a 5% 5, 5 tax if you bid on item over 100k. I guess this is like RMT, fight against the RMT something. I mean, who bids 150k on a box anyways? But if it's over 100k, there's an imposed tax on anything over 100k. So if it's 101k, that 1k will have a 5% tax. Okay. All right, direct X. 11 only supported now. New login reward. Of course. Oh yeah, UI. So, 
In the alt queue, you're gonna get the cube as well as boss rush. In Korea, they removed boss rush and combined it into ebony cube. We'll talk about that later. I think that might come with at earliest. We talk about this a lot on Twitch. Uh, I think earliest will be bro hard. I don't know. Can't say. Because I don't know. But yeah. Next. Character. Thank you. Character customization. Character customization, great change. When you get the ticket and you use the ticket, you have 23 hours and 59 minutes and 59 seconds to customize it however many times you want. And I'm going to do that today on Twitch. I'm going to change my artist's customization. So you have up to one day to fool around, change the hair, change the back, change the eyes, eye color, skin color, blah, blah, blah. You can change it all damn long for 23 hours and 59 minutes and 59 seconds before you before the time expires and it's done why are they doing this because the character customization ui versus looking at in-game with in-game lighting is unfortunately very different also you guys get one more character customization slot so it goes from zero to five now right Anyways, there's there's six, five to six, okay. And now you can cop a uh, copy pasta. You can copy paste color codes, except the skin. So like the hair. Let's say you like you like the hair color of like your favorite streamer or something, and then they give you the code. You can copy paste it now. MVP system now heavily uh you know recognizes supporters like the damage buff that they give. So if the damage buff increases the damage dealer's damage, that percent of how much it increased is contributed towards the supporter now. So you could be like a cruel supporter, right? This is great because right now supporters are getting MVP left and right. So good stuff. Um, so general, the power pass UI has been changed. So you can see between a free power pass and the one you paid for. Right? So you'll see two different um, slots for this. Okay? I saw this on the PTR. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But don't be alarmed, right? There's a little change. The register item limit and purchase limit can now be seen in the... Bro. Bro, we got to get this out, though. Okay? Remove button to move all skins. Yeah, yeah. The You can move things better now. Oh, the best thing. You remember that silly update we got where when you open shard bags, it will make like a ding dong sound, like ding 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 ding. It will drop on the ground, and then people who disconnect, they're like, "Oh, smudge." So they change it so that you automatically, when you open a bag, it goes into your inventory automatically, like the shards, right? But then they gave us the smudge change, which was open ten bags at a time. Like I don't know why they did that. Why did they have to include from a goods change? to a smudge change and then to a great change. Just cut the smudge out, right? They should have just gave us from dropping the shards on the ground into being able to open a thousand bags or 999 at once. I don't know why they have to put the inconvenient thing in there so that maybe you appreciate the good things later. I don't know why they do this. But the thing is, we finally got this 999 because in Korea as well, I remember the days, the dark days of opening shard bags 10 at a time, bro. I wanted to rip my fucking testicle out, dude. Wait. I think it's gonna get this is gonna get a copyright strike or something like you can't say this stuff on youtube anymore i forgot okay anyways guys so you can open 999 now okay that's great all right no more 10 bags at a time this goes with card packs remember i told you guys i'm not gonna open card packs and i was like hint hint wink wink because you know because the days are coming so i have 700 blue card packs i'm gonna open at once and with the automatic learning of the cards <laughs> I don't have to click, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. As well as this one. You can machine gun quality and quality upgrades. You know how you do a quality upgrade? You press it. You're like, ding, something's spinning. And then it's like, dang, failed. Now you just machine gun it. You could skip the animation. So it goes, dude, you could like literally machine gun it, dude. And watch your gold just melt. So that came in. That's good. You could spam quality upgrades faster. Duh. 
View extra reward improvements. You can now... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, does this mean we could do this if we disconnect chat? Is this what I think it is? So this is what it is. So there is... If you look in alt Q, You can see a box... Wait, is this the bonus little feature that... I think this is what it is. Hmm. I think this is what it is. I'm, I don't know. There should, if you don't bonus it, you forgot. There should be a box here. And then you can click it and then bonus it off. If you disconnected or you left the raid, you forgot. I think this is what it is. Okay. Yeah. If it's not, then uh, I don't know. But it should be. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me log on to a character I didn't bonus loot on. Okay, while that's loading. Character selection screen wallpaper improvements. Basically, you can hide the character's names and all that. And you can just enjoy the wallpaper. So you can take a screenshot, put it, put it on Reddit or Twitter without showing your names and your levels and stuff. It just shows the wallpaper and your beautiful characters. Ah, it's not a big deal, okay? But it's a nice change, whatever. Codex improvements. Way better uh, Pokédex or Lost Ark decks, Party Finders. You could, there's a search term now, so if you want to buy a bus or if you want to avoid bus, you can use search terms like homework or expert or learning party. Now you can also have a private party. Private. Okay, so let's go back to what I was saying. Bonus loot. See that bonus loot? I didn't bonus loot gate one, gate two, and gate three. Why would I? Right? I didn't bonus suit Bro Shaza. Why would I? Right? So you can bonus suit outside. I think that's what they're saying. Now, um, uh, party finder thing. Let me show you that. Party finder. Alt Q again. So let's say I want to do it with like my viewers or friends. So you can put like a password. Keyboard working? Oh. oh, only numbers. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't use. I don't. I'm. Not, I don't use that feature. Okay, I was. Yeah. Okay. Only numbers. Anyways, uh, next. Well, there you learn, man. You learn things. All right. Online status UI improve the online status it's for those uh, uh, offline enjoyers. Store updates. All right. We got the Nedia. Okay, I'll link I'll link this in the video description. Yoga pants, crowd favorite, for obvious reasons. Um, Coomers rejoice, love the pants. They're way shinier in game, in major cities. They're way shinier. Okay, I don't know. I just like, I don't know. It's my ideal type. I love it. All right, so that's coming. And Ayayas are getting some old skins back. Pretty nice touch. Winter coats. And uh, the Lunar New Year stuff for Ayaya. Okay. And the Founder skin. Founder skins are coming. Two variants. Um, Same as KR. And not. And I'm looking at right now. I don't. From what I see, I'm not going to look under whatever the thing is uh, you guys want me to look at. Okay, that's gross. Alright. I'm not going to look under anything. But from what I see in the outside, they're not censored. These are not censored. These are not censored. Okay. Alright, next. Dan Seals, you Dark sounded so professional in the official video. Why so serious? Lil, good job. Alright, thank you. And then the Dark Pass. Uh, the Dark Pass. Arc Pass. Arc Pass. Mounts. Six variants. Wallpaper. Very serious. Pet different. These are very cute, though. These are really good. Class balance update. Same as what Korea got. Um, Berserkers. Animations revamped. Way better. Um, less clunky. Basically, Zerkers to the moon. Very happy. Zerkers are happy. Both specs. Don't come and ask me which one's better. They're both good. Gunlancer's animations changed. Blue and red. And got buffed. Doing good. 
gonna move quickly, guys. We talk about this like every day. Like it, uh, it drives me insane. So, uh, anyways, uh, when I go past destroy, nothing changed. Paladin, a little bit of a uh, self DPS for like chaos dungeons and like towers DPS buff. All right, and Glavier is buffed a little bit. They always do this. Every balance patch, Glaviers get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then Dead Eyes got a little bit of convenience change, which helps them out. Uh, Pistolier also got a little love, got a little bit. Artillerist, nothing really happened except for firepower. A little bit of, a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of love. <clears throat> Sharpshooter completely changed. I'd say uh, TLDR for Sharpshooters. Uh, good, pretty plus, pretty plus. Machinist, normal skill damage, normal, normal, not not like Iron Man, normal. Okay, AT scouters, a little bit, a little bit of that love. Is it enough? I don't know about that. Gunslinger, great change. Gunslinger, whoever's in charge of the Gunslingers balancing team, I want to kiss your forehead, bro. Okay, very good change for Gunslingers. Very good change. It doesn't sound like much, but it's much. What? It doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot. All right. Time to hunt as well, man. Okay. Affects the awakening crit as well. Summoner. Uh, don't don't worry about this, bro. Summoner is still busted. Okay. Still busted. Arcanist. Uh, doing fine. Mages are just doing great. All the mages. Bards to the moon. Skill animations changed. Beautiful. Bigger awakening now. Twenty-four meters. Uh, more modernized. Very good. New skill, Sonatine. Oh, it's called Sonatina. <laughs> Anyways, bards are beautiful now. The healing, all that stuff changed. Awakening effect changed. The awakening of the bard has two paladins spinning and fighting each other. It's great. It's a meme in Korea. Sorceress, uh, Reflux got buffed. Uh, Reflux and Jorus, nice. Death Blade, uh, remaining energy got buffed. Um, but the synergy got nerfed. Synergy, entropy synergy got nerfed. Same as Gunlaster's entropy synergy. Shadowhunter's perfect suppression got buffed. Is it enough? One of the skills that we don't even use got nerfed. I mean, got got buffed. I don't know why they're clueless. Reaper persona got buffed. This is crazy good. Attack speed animation in persona is crazy good now. And um, hunger got a five percent. And uh, if you got your tripods deleted, they'll give you the compensation through the amulets. And that's about it. Any change for Soulfists? No. All right. That's about it, guys. It was a very safe balance patch. Uh, expect one in maybe five, four or five months. That was a lot of stuff, but mostly 99% of them are good. All right, guys. So that's it. It was a long, long, long patch notes. Took 37 minutes. Come on over to Twitch. Hit that follow. And we could discuss further there. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Twitch chat as well, man. Bye, YouTube.